Hi, my name is Robbie Simon. Um, I'm 21 years old. I'm a Team GB kayaker. My name is Mickey Marchinia. I'm 19 years old and I'm a GB kayaker. The satisfaction I get out of kayaking is um, first of all being out on the water and also being successful and winning races or just doing your best in a race is um, it's just an amazing feeling. When I don't perform the way that I want to or that I expect it to, um, first of all I feel really sad and obviously quite upset and kind of depends on how big it was. Um, so if it was like the main race of the year, then it'd probably affect me for a few days and I'd be quite down about it. Um, but then you kind of always think of, you know, even if it's one little positive thing out of it, um, that can kind of get you through it. Hello, my name is My Words Loizu. I'm 18 years old and I inspire to be The greatest satisfaction that I get out of kayaking is knowing that when you've done all the training and hard work and it pays off. Hi, I'm Lizzie, I'm 29 and I do flat water kayaking at Richmond Canoe Club. I wouldn't say I've got one motivator. I think on a day-to-day -day basis, the rest of the group probably, when they're going to be maybe just three or four of us, so I think we probably motivate each other in those kind of situations. I tried a lot of different sports when I was younger. I spent my six years doing karate, uh, rock climbing, all the different kinds of running, big cyclist. But kayaking was the only one I kept on wanting to come back to and eventually just to go more and more serious as nationally than internationally. I'd say my biggest achievement so far was coming 11th for the World Championships in 2017. Knowing that if I don't go training in a few months time, I'll probably regret it when I'm not you know, going as quick as I'd like to or reaching the goals that I'd like to reach. Even though I'm improving compared to myself, it's hard to kind of see yourself suddenly not winning every effort. So that's quite hard to overcome and that does take a few months to be okay with it. Um, but you have to just keep focusing on yourself and your own improvements. My name is Kane Wilkinson, I'm 19 years old. I spars the world champion. Short-term goals is probably to go back over to my country again, and long-term is probably still to get faster and fitter. Everyone out there is training to beat you and to be good, so even though I want to be an Olympic champion, so does everyone else. Hi, I'm Sean Rice. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. I'm 28 years old and I do surf ski kayaking. I'm very competitive, so I feel good after I've succeeded in a race, whatever the result might have been. But it's kind of like a bit of a spur on, like, right, that's all for this, now what's next? Not performing is, is always tough. Uh, you can take it as two ways. You can see it as being very negative and you can see it as positive. And I try and take it as positive all the time. Uh, you kind of got to use your achievements and, and your results and analyze them in such a way that you're always trying to improve, even if you won or, or not. The biggest thing I've had to give up uh, to do this sport is, is to be conventional. To look fit into what's normal. So you've got to take a lot of risk um, as a person, as an athlete, or you're relying on yourself uh, to perform. So that's a, a very challenging aspect. But my biggest pullback was when I had like a tendon tear in my left shoulder, and it was right in the smack bang in the middle of the season. 
and it was the first kind of year when actually I was training properly, training hard, actually had an opportunity to be selected for something and because of that just completely put me out of the runnings for anything really. It's important to remember you don't have to be the best at sort of 12, 13, 14, even up to you know, junior, young senior, you don't have to be the best then. There's a huge amount of time in your life that you can kayak for so as long as you're working as hard as you can at any one point, don't worry about your progress at that time. You know, think about where you want to be and think you're working hard. Someone who is an inspiring kayaker, when you start, do you really enjoy it and really enjoy the company around you and the team around you? Enjoy what you're doing, make it fun. When you get older and training becomes more serious, just remember those days and remember why you started and why you're enjoying it. And my little bit of advice is just consistency, trying to improve on what you did the day before. But little, little increments and you'll be surprised how much you, you can get done. Um, I'd have to say one of the hardest things about kayaking is probably probably about the conditions. You're out in the winter and it's like snowing and it's icy. I've got really bad shaft lips, so I have to go through a lot of Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs>